Jesus said that the wind blows where it wishes, and you can hear the sound of it, but you cannot tell where it's coming from or where it's going. And so is the man who is led by the Spirit. To be led by the Holy Spirit, you have to let go of your own desires, the things you want to do, because to be led by the Holy Spirit is not your own will. The Holy Spirit will lead you where you don't want to go, and you will not know where you're going except that you are led by the Holy Spirit of God. The imposters of today, the churches, the pastors that are in them. They are not led by the Holy Spirit. They are not like the wind. But they are led by they are led by men and by their own carnal knowledge, by their own understanding. That is why they build these huge buildings and they have these programs. They have all these people that go to the building. It is not led by the Holy Spirit. It is led by the pastor of that church. It is led by whoever is in charge there. The Holy Spirit is not in charge of these churches, but it is the pastor who is there. They have not been reborn. If truly these imposters had been born of the Spirit, they would not be sinning, and the people there would be changing the entire world. But as it is, churches are not salt and light. They are lukewarm, and they are putrid. They are not leading anyone into the kingdom of heaven, but more and more into sin and into wickedness. Don't listen to these imposters, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Become like the man who is led by the Holy Spirit like the wind. You don't know where you're going, except that you are following the Lord by the Holy Spirit. He knows where he's going. And if you put your trust and your faith in Him, He will lead you and guide you in the ways of righteousness and the ways to true life. If you want to receive the Holy Spirit, then you simply go and talk to God. You ask Him for His Holy Spirit of truth. You pray to the Lord Jesus. You worship Him in spirit and in truth. That happens in prayer. It doesn't happen when you go to a pew in a church building or go to talk to a pastor. It's when you go directly to God and talk to Him. Ask Him for the Holy Spirit. Ask Him for His revelation. Pray and seek and receive the Holy Spirit and don't stop until you do. And when you receive the Holy Spirit of truth and when you are reborn, then never ever let go of Jesus. Hold on to Him. Fix your eyes on Him and continually walk by the power of the Holy Spirit, not in your flesh. Stop sinning and walk according to the Spirit, not according to the flesh. May the grace of Jesus be with you.